Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 1st through March 7th. Okay, we're just going to see what comes up for Scorpio for the week ahead. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, let's just see what comes up for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio for the week ahead? Man holding heart. So we got somebody here that is holding on to their heart. It doesn't look like they've completely given it away yet. This person is holding on to it. Um, this would be the King of Cups. This is somebody that does have a lot of love to offer, that is looking for love, very charming, very romantic, very kind-hearted, that um, is probably looking to give it away, you know? Um, but holding it for right now, just holding on to their heart. So somebody, we do have a man here that is... Um, probably thinking about what their heart wants, thinking about it, right? Um, because he's holding on to it right now. Looks like this person has had their heart ripped out in the past. Um, so maybe that's why they're not giving it away freely. I guess we'll take those, huh? That's quite a few. We're going to take them anyway. Club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. Shield. You need to defend yourself. Wishbone. A wish is granted. Spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Now I have to tell you something. <laughs> this is the second Scorpio reading I have done. I just did one. But I messed up a couple times, so I decided to do it over. Uh, this is all very prominent to what I just did. All these cards right here are. Um, and the first card out here was Angel of Love. So this does have to do with love. I feel as though somebody is going to be offering you something. And they know that you, male or female, has a big heart. And you need to be very, very careful. You need to be very careful. Because I feel like this person... Uh, has hidden agendas, okay? I feel like this person may be struggling financially because we had a lot of uh, pentacles that were reversed. They are needing some sort of financial help. I feel like this person has abandoned you or neglected you in the past. You may have invested in them. You may have uh, loaned them money. It may, this could be money-related or love-related. It feels like they need some financial relief, or something like that from you. They may even just need an ego boost. I do feel as though somebody is going to, they may try to get you to loan them money, okay, or to give them money or something. They may, or they may be looking for sex or something like that because we had that in the other one as well. Somebody is coming around you. And we, well, the first, next card out was the Knight of Swords reverse, right under this. So we had somebody that is untrustworthy, somebody that you cannot trust that does not have good intentions. Um, this person does not have good intentions. They've hurt you in the past and they see your big heart. And, and we have the three of wands as well. You've been waiting for this person to come back around. They know that you've been waiting for them to come back around. They know that you have a big heart. So they are probably going to approach you this week, um, for some sort of assistance, whether it's financial assistance, a uh, sexual need or something like that. I do believe that you need to be very, very careful. Okay. Um, so anyway, there is a path waiting for you as far as money goes. Maybe it has to do, as far as that path goes, has to do with you doing something on your own, starting your own business, working on your own business, focusing on yourself. Um, you're somebody going to try to make you do something. They may use sex as a way to get you to do what they want. If that's, if that's who this person is, if it's a sexual partner. Um, you do need to protect yourself from this person. I know that you do. Um, I also feel like there's sadness. And, you know, you. it feels like you've been wishing and praying for this. I also feel like for some of you, a real wish will be granted. So however that resonates with you, I, you do need to be very, very, very careful. Sometimes you have to be with, you have to be careful for what you wish for. Because sometimes that's not in your best interest. So, what do we have for Scorpio? Um, what 
What do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Five of Cups, grieving over a loss. So there's grieving. There is grieving. There's heartbreak here. And if you think about man holding heart, I'm not sure if there's heart issues. We could have somebody here who has heart issues. I mean, I hate to say it like that, but somebody needs to pay attention to their heart. That, that could represent a heart attack. If you think about a man holding his heart, that could be heartbreak, but it could also be a heart attack. You know what I mean? Um, anyhow, Five of Cups is grieving over a loss, not realizing that there's another opportunity, missing an opportunity. This is deep sorrow. So somebody is definitely sorrow over or sorrowful over somebody. Maybe this person has withhold, withheld their heart from them. Um, Ten of Coins. This does have to do with a some sort of relationship or a family situation or a business. Um, this is in the past, though. So this is a completion. It is the end of something that was comfortable at one time. Tens are completions. A lot of readers forget to mention that. Okay? Um, but that's what it is. This is the end of something. It is the end. Of, I think it's the end. And this could be the, uh, something to do with a legacy. Um, this is sadness, grieving over a loss. But this is also abundance. I think there's been a lot of abundance in the past. And there is another path with money that is waiting for you. Some of you may have money coming in from a family member that has passed away. I don't know. And I say that because one of the round cards that came out in the last reading was casket. And I wasn't going to say it, but it was casket. So someone may be leaving your life. Hangman reverse. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces or another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is struggling to let go. Somebody is really, really, really struggling to let go of something. They're having a very hard time. This is, this is not learning a lesson, fighting the inner self, missing an opportunity, will not change. You may be grieving over somebody that just will not change. This person isn't ever going to change. And I feel a level of distraught, you know, waiting for somebody to change that is not going to change. This is somebody that is egotistical, extremely egotistical and stubborn. But I feel like you, you've lived with this person in the past or something like that. And maybe you've built up a foundation with them, but I feel like they're trying to get you to do something now that you, and you're hurting over it. Look at where I put the card. I never know where I'm going to put the cards. This is the heartache over what you no longer have. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. So I think that you need to be very, very careful. This person may be very alluring to you. There's something about them. So you do need to defend yourself. You need to defend yourself. I feel like you've maybe you've been secretly wishing for something to happen, you know, and like I said, be careful what you wish for. You know, maybe you haven't learned your, from your mistakes. I, before we had the, over here, down here, we had temperance reversed. That's not learning from mistakes. That's repeating the same negative patterns over and over and over again. So I think that you are struggling to let go of something that is unhealthy for you. Temperance reversed is unhealthy. So I, I see that this week you're going to be dealing with it again. Somebody may, may really pull at your heartstrings because they know you have feelings for them. You know, you care about them. Two of coins. Now, two, two of coins is about uh, being flexible, about, you know, this is a profit and a loss of some sort. Need to be flexible. A need to adapt. You may have made some poor decisions. You may be biting off more than you can chew. You may be going back and forth as to what you need to do. You're going to have to make a choice this week. Do you want to continue to hang on to somebody that causes you so much sorrow? Because at one time you had abundance or stability with this person. Or do you want to let go and be free? So anyway, you're going to be presented with an option this week. The Two of Pentacles is definitely an option. And I feel like... You know, you're, you may be, whoever you're dealing with may be under some sort of financial stress. And I feel like they need your financial help. This is somebody that, um, they know that you can't let go of them. So I think you need to be careful. 
anyway. Ace of Swords reversed. Dishonest, untrustworthy individual. And that's what you got going on here. You know, there's a lack of truth, a lack of, of, of trust. You know, I feel like you know, this person probably only communicates with you when they need something. So anyway, I feel like you should go no contact. You should cut yourself free. This is the sword that cuts, your, cuts yourself free. So anyway, I feel like this week you need to be honest with yourself and you need to protect yourself and you need to not give your power away to an individual that is causing you so much pain and sorrow. You may even be receiving some, you know, news in regards to this person. It doesn't look like it's good news. There's definitely dishonesty here. Ooh, hero font reversed. Yeah, that's that is somebody that is under a lot of social pressure. So this could be a father figure, somebody that is under a lot of social pressure, having a hard time doing the right thing because of society. This is somebody that has no faith. They're not very spiritual. This is a broken relationship or a broken marriage. Uh, there's uh, commitment problems. We have somebody here that doesn't really want to commit. They don't want to be married, but they may want to hang on to you because you give them some sort of profit, you know? So I do believe that you need to listen to your gut, and I don't think you have been. There's a lack of clarity here, and I think that you've been grieving long enough over this person. Somebody is causing you a lot of stress. This is an individual that is very controlling, and they know that they have full control over you. They know it. And uh, anyhow, um, I think that you need to let them go. I think that you need to let them go. I feel like you need to be honest with yourself. And I feel like um, there may be, this may be a sad decision. You know, it is, it's a, it is a sad decision to let somebody go that, you know, is so, there's something about this person that draws you to them. You know, there's some sort of love there. Okay. You love this person. There's some sort of loving connection there. Anyway, I do, I do feel like there's going to be a separation. I do feel like there's a separate, or there has been a separation and you, and you just need to find your ability to let go. Anyway, the hero font reversed is disgraced. Okay. Somebody may be, uh, disgraced by a family member. There could be some sort of news that comes out regarding a family member or somebody that is in a position of authority. Okay. There could even be some punishment here with the hangman. There could be some punishment. So I'm not sure what is going on, but it feels like there is some sort of, I feel like there's embarrassment, there's sadness, there's grieving, and there's a need for healing. Okay. There is a need to heal. There's a need to uh, sever some sort of ties, I, and, and if they haven't been sever severed already, they may be being severed this week. Um, controlled by a father figure, somebody may be controlled by a father figure, or they just, or they're controlled by society. So there's somebody here that is being controlled by, uh, you know, social pressure, um, and they don't really want commitment. So there's commitment could be commitment phobia or something like that with a with a hero font reversed. Um, we may have an unconventional relationship here as well. You may be dealing with somebody that is a player. The two of coins is a player. You think about a juggler. What does a juggler do? Juggling is a game. Okay, so you could be dealing with somebody that plays a lot of games. Okay, and they have some sort of strong pull over you. And you need to you need to take your power away from this person, okay? So anyway, I feel like this week you will probably be struggling, really, really, really. This is extremely struggling 
to accept and see something about a person that doesn't really want commitment or doesn't really, you know, do the right things because of society. I feel like there's going to be a change and I feel like it's heartbreaking. I feel like it's a heartbreaking change. And and at the end of my other reading, what I said to you is with was you just have to say no. This person is going to try to get you to do some fat card didn't come up, but someone's going to try to do get you to do something over your something against your will. This person is going to try to get you to do something against your will. My advice is for you to be honest with yourself and just say no. And as you want to become part of, I don't know, I was going to say scandal, you know, of the game, you know. So anyway, Scorpio, I feel like um, you need to give deep, deep thought to this relationship that you're in. This is the Nine of Swords reversed. All is not as it seems, and I don't need the moon card. This is caution. Somebody does not have good intentions, and you know it. And you know it. So I believe that this week you're going to be, somebody's going to push you to do something, okay? This person is a lawbreaker, okay? And, you know, they, they when you get the hangman, there could be some punishment that comes with this. It could be even jail time, okay? So if I was you, I would say no. Good luck.